When a man found this little kittens, one of them was so badly infected with mange that no one seemed to want him. So he sat overlooked in a kill shelter until rescuers finally came to his aid. And once he was giving some much needed TLC, his transformation was unbelievable. Justin Bartlett Animal Rescue is a volunteer-run organization based in South Florida. Since its formation in 2012, it has rescued thousands of homeless animals and provided them with loving forever families. The rescue also runs an animal hospital, which provides affordable veterinary care in the community. In August 2017, volunteers from Justin Bartlett Animal Rescue went to a shelter to pick up a dog in need. However, while they were there, another animal caught their eye. As a result, they decided there was no way they were leaving without him. The creature in question was a tiny kitten. By looking at the animal, rescuers concluded he couldn't have been any older than four weeks old. However, it was evident that the world hadn't been kind to the fur baby over the course of his young life. The poor kitty was suffering from a severe case of mange. The skin disease had ravaged almost his entire face and body. Consequently, there was no denying that the little cat was in a significant amount of discomfort. Mites are responsible for mange, and while it is common in dogs, it rarely affects cats. The condition leads to intense itching and can cause hair loss. If left untreated, mange can spread throughout the entire body and result in skin infections. With that in mind, Justin Bartlett Animal Rescue volunteers were keen to deliver the sick kitten to a vet, so they took him and the dog they'd originally came to help into their care. They were both rescued at the same time from the shelter, one team member told Love Meow in August 2017. Back at their facility, rescuers were able to survey the full extent of the kitten's condition. They discovered the animal weighed not even a minuscule one pound. However, they knew that underneath the crust, there was a beautiful cat waiting to be unleashed. Rescue staff named the kitten Jora and soon got to work on his rehabilitation. They placed him with experienced foster mom Anna Castro, who would help the cat on his journey to recovery. With a support system around him, his carers could start Jora off on his treatment. His rescuers revealed, Little cute and crusty Jora got his revolution for his skin and a medicated bath. They added, his foster mama made him a sock sweater, which he hates, so he wouldn't be able to itch and scratch himself. On top of that, this poor boy also has to be on antibiotics for a cold. As well as fighting Jora's mange, it was important for his carers to build up his energy. Luckily, the little kitten had a lot of catching up to do when it came to eating. As a result, he always seemed to be hungry, so it wasn't long before he started piling on the pounds. However, with that said, the cat still had a long road to recovery ahead of him, but thanks to the support of his foster mom, Jora made progress each and every day, and soon his scabs began to clear up. He's so itchy from his crusty scabies, but the sock is doing the trick, Justin Bartlett Animal Rescue said in a statement. He received another nice bath and a new sock sweater. A lot of his mange crusts are falling off and he is starting to feel more comfortable. Ten short days after his rescue and Jorah was completely unrecognizable. The mange on his face had disappeared to reveal the most adorable features. Now it was hard to believe that the kitten had gone overlooked in the shelter all that time. Given his transformation, some at Justin Bartlett Animal Rescue thought Jora could serve as a good lesson to potential pet owners. Perhaps when it comes to animals, it is best not to judge a book by its cover. After all, who would have known such a cute kitty was hiding behind all those scabs? Baby Jora is a perfect example why so many of our fosters aren't scared to take on mange cases, the organization wrote on Facebook. They know the beautiful being underneath all that crust is so worth it. Baby Jora was definitely worth it. He is stunning. And it soon turned out that those at the organization weren't the only ones who thought Jora was a handsome boy. Gorgeous, one Facebook user commented on the post. All one has to do is look into the eyes of a kitty. They are all precious and beautiful. I love him. Look at that face. Don't you just want to hug, squeeze and kiss him? Another commenter enthused on another update. Meanwhile, one more said, Bless this precious baby and his wonderful foster mom. Now that Jora was on the mend, his rescuers could turn their focus on to finding him his forever home. 
so it posted an advert on its website. In it, the rescue portrayed Jora as the perfect family pet. That's because he could live with cats, dogs, and children. The ad also contained photographs documenting the cat's recovery. As a result, it wasn't long before someone snapped Jora up. So the kitty went to live with his new family, who will hopefully dote on him like the cutie he is. This story was really incredible, but you will like the next one more. This badass cat wasn't going to leave his neighborhood supermarket no matter what. As possibly everyone who's ever met a cat will know, they're impossible creatures to control. No matter how much you try to bribe them with treats or toys, cats always do as they please. However, we're not sure if we've come across any kitty quite as stubborn as the broccoli cat. It all began in November 2015, when customers at one chain of the British supermarket Sainsbury's noticed a very unusual shopper prowling the aisles. In particular, it appeared that a ginger tomcat had claimed the branch in Broccoli, London as his territory. He perched on shelves, wandered around and generally made himself at home. And the cat's presence in the store delighted a number of locals. Indeed, many of them flocked to Twitter to document any sightings of the feline using the hashtag hashtag Broccoli Cat. One video, captioned just browsing, documented the cat sauntering around the shop. Another user, meanwhile, uploaded an image of the cat on an empty shelf. Customers said, however, that the cat was extremely friendly, and word of his stardom spread all around Broccoli. He was flat out on the mat yesterday by the door under the heated fans. Everyone was stopping to give him a tickle. One woman would even post on a Facebook page dedicated to the local area. And as he was clearly fond of his new hangout, it seemed that this kitty was going to have a fight on his paws. Store security declared war on the broccoli cat after deciding that he posed a health and safety risk. As a result, they tried to remove the mischievous feline, but he was having none of it. In typical cat fashion, when security took him outside, he simply sauntered straight back in, according to Twitter user Jenny Stevens. The process was repeated numerous times, but the defiant animal simply refused to stay away. Then he disappeared. However, Broccoli Cat wasn't gone for long. After a few weeks of no sightings, he returned to the store. Of course, having risen to the status of a local celebrity, his return was confirmed on social media. Spot the Cat wrote Helen Galt in a photo update of the Ginger Kitty on a local Facebook page. Indeed, the Facebook group had become somewhat of a fan page to the mysterious cat. In a range of posts, he was duly described as the star of Broccoli. One user even suggested that he should be part of a broccoli tourist attraction. Furthermore, thanks to his miserable-looking face, he was compared to another internet sensation, Grumpy Cat. During his reappearances, however, the animal seemed to have gotten wiser about the store security guards. At least he made it a point to stay out of reach. Later images showed Broccoli Cat perched on top of a store freezer, gazing down at shoppers as they passed. Meanwhile, Galt's post sparked a great deal of conversation among the online community. One commenter revealed that she walked past the store on Christmas Day to find the poor kitty outside looking really confused. Another person, meanwhile, was able to identify the cat, shedding some light on why he seemed to love Sainsbury's so much. Cats called Ollie Oliver and he lives in the road next to Sainsbury's, wrote Lucy Thompson. He lives in the house next door and he's in here every day, all the time, Sainsbury's confirmed. He's not allowed to be here, the staff like him, but he is a health and safety risk. And with all the attention his beloved pet was getting, Broccoli Cat's owner eventually came forward. His name is Adam Oliver, and according to his Twitter profile, he has many strings to his bow. LSE behavioral economist, journal editor, very amateur photographer, keeper of animals, terrible player of the banjo lil and i will have my vengeance reads his bio the cat by the way is actually called ollie and owner oliver blew his cover to reassure his pets fans that he wasn't astray don't worry not lost he's my cat he wrote on twitter i've told the sainsbury staff to throw him out if too pesky he added in fact oliver got the now handsome six-year-old ollie when the cat was only six weeks old and it turns out that Ollie has a brother named Stilton, though that cat is apparently less adventurous. Overall though, Oliver is pretty bemused by his Ollie's sassy antics. When asked if Ollie had any other stores on his round, Oliver quipped, Ollie is always at Sainsbury's, 
I don't think he can fit any other shops in his schedule. He also defended his kitty by claiming that his disgruntled expression was just his face. But curiosity about the the cat didn't end when the mystery of where he came from was solved. Encouragingly, Time Out London named Ollie its Animal of the Week for being the most baddest cat in town. With his free-spirited ways, Ollie had captured the hearts of the nation. And with fans going crazy for Ollie-related updates, the cat now now has his own Twitter account to satisfy them. His feed contains frequent updates about his daily naps, his moments with his brother, and of course, his adventures in Sainsbury's. One update shows him utterly unimpressed by his owner's choice to shop at a rival supermarket. Another post showed Ollie patiently waiting for human intervention at the door of Sainsbury's. Unfortunately, automatic doors don't open to cats. Posted Marjo Anelli, never give up, never surrender, an undefeated Ollie replied. Recently, a fellow celebrity even reached out to Ollie via the internet. Using the hashtag hashtag FreakyFacts, Alice Cooper retweeted a meme about the Ginter Tom's inexplicable obsession. Ever the cool cat, Ollie tweeted back that a superstar knows a superstar when he sees one. Indeed, Ollie has already experienced the perils of fame. He can no longer go about his daily business without being accosted by fans. In October 2016, moreover, he even had to tell them, please don't feed me. I'm getting fat. However, Ollie still keeps it real, stocking the shelves at Sainsbury's, despite staff's efforts to keep him out.